Hi guys, it's BB. Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful monarch butterflies. I hope that all of you are having a lovely, lovely day. Alright, I want to welcome you guys to hashtag Shaw Until Fridays, which one of our design team members for Diane Shaw over at Shawcraft One and also her Etsy at my old barn door will be featuring some awesome digital kits and wonderful project shares. And I will also be linking her Etsy down below as well as her channel and all of the design team members that are participating. So in today's video, I will be featuring Vintage Ephemera Variety Kit, which I featured in last month's video, but I went ahead and had some leftovers and I wanted to feature them in today's video. So I ended up creating this cover during the pandemic and I used wood glue so you can kind of see there's a little bit of a yellowish tone to this journal and then I followed Natasha from Treasure Books tutorial on how to decoupage using napkins. So I had very limited supplies to make the cover and then I wasn't happy with it and then I rediscovered it just a couple days ago um, and so I figured why not dig it back up and try to repurpose it. On the front you can see I have this little wooden veneer butterfly it is in orange and it is so pretty and i think it goes really well with the colors that you see here i struggled a lot to find a closure for it but i ultimately landed on adding a button closure with some beads here both at the top and the bottom i beaded these myself and so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's video and so it's just a little it's a little wrap around journal and I used some little orange twine here. And so on the inside, you can see that it's lined with some orange fabric. And I also used some vintage book pages. Here is some of Diane's wonderful kit. So here are some fun little extras, super adorable. And then this fabric that you see here, this sari silk, it is so beautiful it was gifted to me by my friend dale over at not too shabby chic and i just thought the oranges went really good together for the journal and this was from a vintage uh book page ideals i believe and i just thought these little girls went so beautiful with it paired with this yellow ledger paper i added some fun little extras here a receipt a fun little ticket there and some timu ephemera all right, so moving right along, here I added some more fun goodies. I created um, some fun pages with, um, and you can see the, the patina on the page there, and I just think it looks so beautiful. And then I did some stenciling with some modeling paste, and I think it turned out really cute. And then here, th this little pocket, I put one of Diane's little tiny digital kits and this is vintage wallpaper that was gifted to me by my friend Kara and then I did a fun little flip here with some vellum paper some embossed green faux handmade paper there and then here is Diane's kit once again that kit just kept going and going you get a lot in that kit and whoever ends up getting it it's gonna have a they're gonna have a lot of fun playing with it so moving right along we have some scrapbooking paper here. We've got Diane's kit once again. Um, I just did a little bit of scraps there. Very pretty. Her kit again right here. Tuck some fun ephemera. And there's that beautiful sari silk again. I used it quite a bit in this journal. And then I did a little bit of stenciling there. There's a rose, but you it's very faint. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there we go. And then here we have a fun little tuck spot with, again, some more of her digital kit. And then I did a little scrappy embellishment there. Very pretty. And then some vintage map page. This is from the 1930s, this ledger. It's so beautiful. And then I reinforced it with some washi. Here down below I put a little... Um, label this was gifted to me and some birthday goodies that my sister-in-law gave me it's so pretty and it went really good with this kit and this journal so here again is her kit and then there is the modeling paste again i just had a lot of fun with it here we have a little tag that i decided to incorporate this is a little flip out but you can 
tuck it in like a little pocket there if you glue it down. And then here's her kit once again. I had fun playing with some vellum, added a vellum sticker there. Little flip out, so cute. And then here, I used her kit all, it's just sprinkled all throughout this journal. A fun little stamp there. And this is cute, little math card. And then you can see that here I did some, oh, what is that called? Y'all know what I'm talking about. This I made into a, a booklet, again, using her kit. Some fun, give, uh, some fun little things that Jovi gave me. Creating with Jovi, you could do some journaling along there. And then if we flip on over to the side, here is some fun ledger, fun sticker from my friend Kara. This was gifted to me in some happy mail, and I just thought the little spritz went really good with the journal. This here I created having thrifted some uh, measuring tape, but I attached the beads to it there. Very, very cute, and I just love the blue. The blue is so pretty. And, and then here is a pocket that I created. I did a fun little cluster there with the butterflies, embossed paper, and then a fun little doily. Here we have some more of Diane's digital kit. And even my husband thought that these were real. He thought they were real. I had to tell him that they were printables. He's like, those look so realistic. So Diane did a wonderful job making them look so real and keeping it looking original. So you won't be you won't be disappointed. So moving right along, I created um, this fun little tag again with her digital kit, attached some vintage um, remnants of some sorry silk there, and then here is a fun little card from my sweet friend Phil over at FP Handmade, and I just thought it went really good with the blues here. I'll bet y'all can spot her digital kit now. Y'all can see a little bit of stenciling there. Very, very, very pretty. And then I embellished this a little bit. Um, and then here, again, we have some vintage ledger. Again, with the modeling paste. I had a lot of fun with it. I created some of my own modeling paste. I used the one that I store-bought, and then I created my own. So this one is the store-bought that I ended up picking up from Hobby Lobby, but I also wanted to have fun and make some of my own. So here's what it looks like. Can y'all tell I've been super drawn to the orange color lately? <laughs> All right, so moving right along. This is a little flip out, but again, you can turn it into a pocket if you choose. All right, and so here we have some fun ephemera. Once again, just some cute little goodies, some stationery there. And I forgot to mention, this will be linked up on my Poshmark if you are interested and or if you just want to give me a like. I appreciate any support. And then here we have a little tag that I created using from Remnants and it says Muscular Movement Writing Slip. And as I was working with this portion of, of the little slip, I don't, I don't even know what to call it, they're vintage. And they're probably from the 1920s or the 1930s, I'm not for sure, but it's very old. And whenever I was looking through the little card and I was, you know, splitting it, because this is this part right here, so I trimmed it. But as I was holding this up to the light to kind of make sure that I wasn't cutting into something else on this side, I noticed that there was script like someone had put another paper over them and then started writing so you can see the person's writing that whoever had this prior so I thought that was a really neat a super neat thing and I just figured it was a little fun fact to let you guys know some fun uh, project life cards here super cute and then here we have a massive journaling card and then I attached a little bit of fabric there. I love how scruffy it is. Very cute. Vintage music paper. Oh, and then here I added um, some fun stickers. Vintage stickers. 
and that's what they look like and I just think they resemble like vintage wallpaper so I added that and sorry if this flip through is so long I do have another journal that I want to feature I don't know if I'll do it in this video or not how, depending on how long this video is and then here is again her digital kit I added some cute little scruffies there it's like eyelet lace it's so cute it's so cute and then here I did a little flip out again using that sari silk and then if you see or I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not but there's two little fabrics here it's very sheer very pretty but I, for like added texture and then this is part of her digital kit as well in that fabric so beautiful and then if we flip on over to the side we have that vintage ledger again and beautiful patina I love the vintage writing it's so cute and then here, um, more map pages, more journaling spaces for you to collage on, and then added vellum stickers here. And then here is again featuring her digital kit. This looks like a vintage postage card or letter, and this, I perforated it. I had a lot of fun with this voucher printable. You can see the holes. I added them myself with my crocodile, just, you know, to add a little bit of character to it and have just a little bit of a play with them. And then here, I distressed it. You can tell I went around and distressed it a little bit. And then also on the back. So that was fun. Large pocket here. nearing the end of this video or the, the flip through for this particular journal. And then here again, I had another play with modeling paste with um, the part of her digital. I believe this is also in the front. Let me take y'all back there. Where is it? Here it is. So this was a whole slip, but you can see how I cut it here and made it into a fun little whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I don't know what to, to call it, but it's pretty. I like the way that it came out. You can add a little fun bead there. And then this one is like a check, a little bank check. Super cool, love the script on there. And then again with um, vellum sticker here, this is also a flip out. So you can do some more journaling here. That's how it opens up. And there's that script paper that I was telling y'all about that if you hold it up, um, you can see some very faint writing in how they were practicing how to, yeah, how to, how to write like this. And I think that is so cool. I should probably keep that, but <laughs> I'm gonna share it with whoever ends up with this. And then my dad gave me a flower press and I decided to incorporate some of the flowers that uh, I picked. And there's like a leaf. It turned out so cute. Another little check there. And then the other page of the ideals there. And I love these blue birds. They just look so pretty. They add such a gorgeous look to the journal. Fun little doily that I got thrifting. And again, some of Diane's gorgeous digitals. You get such a variety. Well, this one is the digital, not this one. This is just some fun scrapbooking paper. Um, it says War Ration Book 4. Be sure and check it out. I'm sure you will find something that you will like there. Let her know that I sent you. So anyways, that is the end of this journal. Let's go ahead and move on to the next Journal. All right, so next up we have this cutie here. It is a single signature junk journal on this um, Printable kit that I used I used Butterfly Farms and Butterfly Farms ephemera kit So I do believe this is two different kits that Diane shared with us. So thank you so much Diane I hope that you are well. I forgot to say that in the beginning of the video. She did get injured So I've been praying for you. I ended up adding this cute little um, 
label thing. I don't, you can put whatever you want there, but you can see I added some of her digital here and here, as well as this little charm thing here. And then I added Choose to Shine. It is so cute. You can see some vintage wallpaper in the back, scrapbooking paper, some bag there. And then I featured some of this beautiful lace from the Hobby Lobby. I don't remember who gave me this fabric, but it is stunning. It is so, so beautiful. I did some stitching all the way around it. It's very faint. You can't really see it, but it's light blue. It's so beautiful. And then I did a five hole pamphlet stitch. I added this twine here. I just thought it looked very organic and gorgeous. And look at this goat. It is so cute. Such a beautiful kit. I remember just like looking through it and my jaw just dropped. Like, oh, this kit was so much fun. And then I added a little handmade bead charm thing that I put together. It's so beautiful. I love the colors. It goes really good with the journal. Isn't that precious? Okay, so let's start through the flip through. I hope I don't take too long on this one. Um, so here I made a large tag featuring her kit and then I forgot to put um, a little tag like this for the last journal so that they know who made it. Oh, look, this is a vintage handkerchief. It is so cute. Right here, look at that. It's iridescent. It's gorgeous and then I put some eyelet lace um, trim there and it is like really wide it's gorgeous it went beautiful with this journal a large journaling tag using her digital kit so adorable and then on the back it's backed up so that you can write whatever you want if you want to journal again this will be linked up on my Poshmark as well and then this says, Chronicle the ways your mother and grandmother turned their houses into homes. I hope that was in view. I'm really sorry. I, I, I suck at filming. <laughs> okay, so here we have a little doily. Oh, and this was fun to make. I made a cute little envelope using her digital kit here. Again, with the modeling paste. I've been going crazy. Book page in the back. And then I recently um, had some Panda Hall goodies. Uh, wax seals and stuff and that's what you see there you can see the gold on the leaves and there's actual leaves um, I mean flowers that I picked myself and I incorporated them into this wax seal it's so beautiful mixture of pinks and lilacs which kind of goes together there and then I tucked in some extra goodies from Diane's kit in here some fun little oops some fun little extras and then you can close it with the twine and then you can do some journaling here more journaling spaces Diane's kit right there at the bottom with the butterfly you could do some journaling there and I love that pink I just love I, I just love that pink I got it from um, a thrifted book page book and then here is her kit again. This just looks like actual fabric and you can write to who this belongs to and or maybe if you gift it, I don't know. Ah, look here, her digital kit once again. So beautiful, but this opens up like this. And I added some Holly Hobby pages cause oh, they're so cute with their bonnets, aren't they? And this says quack fun little pocket from her digital kit um, some flowers from paper studios and look her with her cow in that precious I love it two adorbs I love it so so much thank you Diane for sharing this and then this here is a pocket all right so moving right along um, here's the other side of that Holly Hobby page and then I found some of these tiny little books I call them like miniature ideals books um, but it's so pretty I thought I thought it just went really good with this journal and it says the works of nature 
And then here, um, this is part of her digital too. I grunged it up just a little bit. And then here's that trim again. This is the other side of her printable. I just printed, like flipped it around. And you can see how much of a variety you get with this page here. It's so nice. And this was a bigger sheet, but I cut it up into sections and made it into a journaling card, backed it up onto some cardstock there. And then here I used some book page for a recipe book, from a recipe book, and I just thought the colors looked really good together. This is part of her digital kit. You can put some secret journaling in there. It's a fun little envelope. And then you can put maybe a date there. So if you get like to go to the movies or something, you could put some ticket stubs there. That would be adorable. Like we went to the carnival recently and you could possibly save the bracelets in something like that. How cute would that be? Tied a cute little bow there. There's that truck with that butterfly. And this is a Project Life card. And you see how these purples and blues just go so beautifully together? I love it. Here I made a fun pocket with a journaling tag. It is foiled and then some very dainty fabric. This was actually a shirt. Um, you know how people say my toxic trait is me thinking that I can craft up something and then you, you go to do it and then you, you can't do it. <laughs> so I ultimately tore up the shirt and said forget about it and now I use the remnants to embellish journals. So here I did a fun little collage there with some vintage ledger, scrapbooking paper, again with um, some modeling paste, paper studios. Oh, and this says Nutty Granola Medley, and so you have the recipe here. And then the further along you go in the journal, you can see the rest of the recipe. This is vintage wallpaper. I love the flowers, very thick, good wallpaper. Um, this is her digital kit, and this is from the ephemera kit that I featured in that last flip through. So that's part of it, and um, this is a fun little paint swatch and then some of her kit there. Loving that twine with this journal, it just went perfectly. And then here we have a large journaling card from a book page and I just stitched all the way around it. Again, some of that ephemera kit um, that I featured in the last journal as well. And then here I made, um, like again, this was a huge journaling page, but I ended up separating it and making a journaling card. And Dale, thank you so much for these whale tail tabs. They're awesome. I love it. Huge tuck spot there. And then here is part of her digital kit as well. And she's just so precious with her curls. Did y'all see her curls? Look at them little churritos. And she's got her little bow and check out her boots. I love little kids in journals. I think they're so precious. Some fun little floral trim there. And then this is part of her kit. I accidentally printed this upside down, but it still looks really nice. Some tea dyed paper that I was gifted. Here is some wallpaper, but you can see like the golds in it. Very iridescent, very pretty. So this is a little scrap that I decided to throw in there. This was supposed to be like a specimen card. It doesn't really look like it, but I tried. Um, here's her digital kit, it says Farm Fresh. And then I added some foiled washi tape there. So cute. And then on the back, um, that pink page that I was sh showing y'all earlier at the beginning of the journal, you can see that little cut off piece sentiment there. So I kept that. And then if we flip on over to this side, I made a floating pocket and using her digital kit once again look at that chicken and that oh something about oil lamps I just think they're so pretty and then this says butterfly farms which is the name of the kit and look at that gorgeous butterfly wouldn't be a BB's journal without butterflies and then here I made another journaling card with that remnant of the shirt that I so happened to mess up. Um, so here's that pink page again, some of the remnant, and then uh, her kit right there too. I'll have to put that back later. Okay, so here's her journaling kit. Again, there's that cow taking a bath, a little trough. How cute! 
I love it. She did such a good job with this kit. I know she said she worked on it for a really long time. Oh, this looks like vintage wallpaper. This is also part of her kit. And then there's some of that eyelet, eyelet lace pocket. Um, some fun scrapbooking paper. Here is her kit. That pink paper again. So beautiful. Another paint swatch. Very cute. Um, and then this is a pocket. So you can tuck some goodies in there and or attach it to a page however you want. It'll look good anywhere. Her kit is amazing. And then this is from a book page um, from a book and I decided to incorporate it because it has to do with butterflies so I thought it was perfect. Vintage, 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 vintage book page and it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then I reinforced it with some washi tape from Timu. Um, so yeah, it looks wonderful. This is part of her kit. Her kit? Her kit? Hers too. Adorable. Again, uh, this is like a fun little envelope. And Or you could put some cute little Bible verses there. Whatever you want. If you want to do very little journaling that day, you could just tuck um, it in. Here are these faux stamps, or little envelopes that I was given, and some happy mail. I don't remember who gave them to me, I apologize. But I thought it went great with the journal, because it has to do with farm animals. And then here I tucked in, I guess, kind of like little to-do list. Um, I like to-do list, typically, because it keeps me from, you know, it, it, rem it reminds me on like what all I need to do that day, right? So I figured that'd be nice to incorporate into the journal. And if we flip on over to the side, this is a blank page. So that pocket that I showed y'all earlier, where is it at? Right here. So if you wanted to attach it here, you can. And maybe if you just glue down this side to here, you could even make it into a fun little tuck spot like this. Take your cuties, tuck them in the pocket just like that. So much fun to be had. Um, this here too, you can, it's a little pocket, so you can tuck something in there. This is part of her digital kit. Once again, I did a fun little charm there with a flower and bold pin. It says creativity. This is actually um, like sewing pattern. Very cute. And then moving right along, here's her kit once again. You see the rooster and the chickens. Beautiful digital kit. And then I did another tag here. A long, long tag. It's so cute. And then this is a pocket. I put a little Project Life card in there. Part of her kit. Oh, and then I put a little miniature paper clip there. Isn't that precious? All right. So on this side is um, part of her digital kit again. This was a larger sheet. I cut it down into a smaller little thing, and you can actually take this and make it into a pocket, and or you can just hang it off the ledge like that, and you, you can have a fun little tab. Um, this was given to me in some happy mail and from Brittany. So Brittany Linger Blinger, thank you. And I just thought it went perfect with the theme. And then here is her kit once again. It's part of her kit. Fun vintage wallpaper here. I tucked in um, a large journaling tag, again from her kit, backed it up onto another part of the kit as well and it just looks like wallpaper to me so I thought it was perfect if we flip on over to the side we have another large journaling tag with a cow two Q and a truck backed it up onto some cardstock and then here's the other side of that recipe page and that's what the recipe looks like at the end of it all if you decide to create it and then here, um, look how pretty those berries look. Like I can just imagine someone on the farm growing berries and it just, it's perfect. I thought it was so here. 
is her digital kit, the other side of that kit, and then that fun eyelet lace. Um, I made a fun little floating pocket here, added a fun charm with a bowl pin there, and then this is part of her kit. I put these little brads there, I thought they were so cute, and then again with the modeling paste there. This was part of the, an envelope, I believe, or a pocket, and I decided to add, a, a, like, it makes it look like actual texture with some wallpaper here. This is a paper bag. Um, this is part of her digital kit, too. And then it's got a little pocket there with that vintage truck. So you could add more goodies there, too, if you wanted. And then here... Um, this is part of her digital kit as well. This is part of her digital kit. It says, Summer Bees Make Me Feel Fine. That's a piece of the fun little page I showed y'all earlier. And then I very loosely tied this um, twine, I guess. No, whatever it's called. I don't remember. And then did a little flip out tag there. So fun. And this is cotton. So I thought it was perfect, perfect, perfect for this journal. I love it. I had a lot of fun working with this kit and I believe you will too. Cuteness overload for sure. And then here we have a part of the digital again, that little miniature ideals book that I call, they're not ideals, but they look like them to me. Um, and then the way that the paper feels, I wish you guys could feel it, it feels very nice, that um, hob Holly Hobby book page, I was going to say Hobby Lobby. Um, and then here, it looks like she's doing some embroidery, and she has her little head down, so focused, so fixated on her craft. It's so cute. And then here's some more journaling pages for you and then nearing the end of this journaling flip through we have a pocket here in the back and then I added some of her digital kit back here too fun little butterfly there and then there's the other side of that hanky oh it's so beautiful it hurt me to cut it but I think it made this journal come together so beautifully so thanks you guys for joining me for these two journaling flip throughs i know it was probably a super long video so hopefully you were crafting with me or washing dishes whatever um be sure to check out diane's channel as well as her etsy let her know that i sent you and um i also shared this day with um v castro which her channel is at jesus arts and crafts with v so be sure and check her out too she's so super talented has a gorgeous accent and Next week will be Tina Epp over at Tina Epp 6337. So be sure and check her out on next Friday for hashtag shot and tell Friday. Just hit the hashtag and it'll take you to all the videos for your viewing pleasure. All right, you guys, that wraps it up for me. I hope y'all have a lovely rest of y'all's day. Y'all please take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.